Hey everyone. For today's topic, I want to talk about why men should stop improving themselves for women. A lot of men make this mistake where they work on themselves, they work on improving their personality, on their fitness, their health, their finances, and they do all of that purely to be able to attract more women into their lives. And this is a trap mentality because even if you're able to attract more women by working on all those things, which you probably will, there's still going to be one problem underlying all of it, neediness. And that's because if you're improving yourself for other people, that's always coming from a place of neediness, from lack. You lack something, in this case, scenario, women, so you're doing all these things to try to get women. So there's neediness there. You're coming from a place where you don't have something and you want it. There will always be neediness in that kind of scenario. So even if you attract the women, they're going to get a taste of that neediness and it's going to scare them away. As I've said in prior videos, neediness is basically like the number one relationship killer and just killer of attraction in general. Women do not want needy men. In fact, that's like one of the main things they do not want. They do not want guys to have neediness as much as possible. Now, of course, you can have a little bit of it, just not enough where it causes you to sabotage the connection with them or even just where it scares them away. But if you're working on yourself purely to attract women, then you are going to have a lot of neediness. So. The way to work around this is just to work on yourself for you, to make your own life better, not for women. Women will come with time as you keep working on yourself. They'll be attracted to you because your personality will get better, your fitness and health will get better, your finances will get better, but you don't want to work on all those things purely for women. And now I'm not saying you should never pursue women while working on these things. I'm just saying don't make pursuing women your number one priority. That is ridiculous. I wouldn't even say you should put it in your top five because once you do that, remember what I said about neediness, that neediness will start creeping up and it'll get in your own way. So of course, if you meet a great woman along your journey, pursue her. Just do not make that your main priority. And when you do meet great women, don't make them your main priority in life either. Still keep working on yourself for you. Now, as much as possible, you should want to have you as your number one priority in life, working on yourself, making your life better. And the reason why is because life is incredibly short. We only get this one shot at it. So your goal should be to make the most of it for you, because you are the person living this life, right? You're not living other people's lives and you're not living for them. You're living for you. You're creating your own incredible experience as a human being on planet Earth because we don't even know how much time we're guaranteed to do this. So it should be in your own interest to make this experience as amazing as possible. So that should be your goal. But do it for you, not for other people. That doesn't mean you shouldn't care about other people and be kind to other, them, other people and to treat them with respect. It just means do what you want to do. Do the things that speak to you. Do what you're passionate about because you're living for you first and foremost. You're going to be in your own company your entire life. So why the hell would you not want to make that a better experience for you? And another thing I will say is all of you should be practicing self-love because just like improving yourself for you, working on self-love will also reduce your neediness tremendously. So I've already made a few videos on that, so feel free to just search self-love on my YouTube channel and you should find these videos. But self-love will also make you more attractive to women. But like I said, don't do any of these things for women specifically. Do them for you to make your own life better. Well, it's just an added bonus that women will find you more attractive when you work on these things. And they'll allow you to create more healthy and better experiences with women as well. Just do not make women your main priority in life. So many guys get tripped up over that. That's why there's so many simps and thirsty men out there. Those guys literally have women as their main priority and it messes them up, right? They don't live their best life because they're not living for themselves anymore. They're living for women. They put women on this pedestal and they're just at their feet groveling for their attention. Don't let that be you. And 
Before I close out this video, I just want to say for all the ladies who have watched this far, I only singled out men here because I observe this behavior in men way more than women. So I understand women can engage in this behavior as well where they work on themselves solely to attract a great man. Just make sure that it, when you work on yourself, do it for you as well. Don't do it because you're trying to attract a great guy. Do it for you. Make your own life better. That's the whole point here. I only made it a gendered topic for this video because there's so many men out there that I want to help with my message. And I just I feel like women don't struggle with this quite as much as men do. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I truly hope you enjoyed it. And if so, the easiest way you can support me is just to like, comment, and share the video. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Arrivederci!